Hi, my dear students. Good day to one and all. This is uh, Girish, Girish Ramdas, your science activity teacher. Today, we are going to learn some very common phenomena related to light. Refraction and total internal reflection. Let's uh, understand what exactly it is in very simple terms. In science, refraction is the change in direction of a wave passing from one medium to another medium. Refraction of light is the most commonly observed phenomenon. You might have seen bending of pencil in a glass of water or rainbow, sunset are some of the very common examples of refraction of light. Total internal reflection. It occurs when the light rays travel from a more optically denser medium to a less optically denser medium when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle the incident ray is reflected incident ray is reflected back to the medium mirage you might have heard and you might have seen mirage mirage is caused due to total internal reflection of light by the various layers of air. It is an optical illusion which is responsible for the appearance of the water at short distances in desert or on road. Mirage is an example of total internal reflection which occurs due to atmospheric refraction. So these two phenomena, refraction and total internal reflection, are connected to each other. We are going to observe and I will try to demonstrate these two phenomena. Let's watch. Hi everybody. So today I am going to demonstrate the two phenomena related to light. One is refraction of light, another is total internal reflection. So to support my demonstration, I have a glass which is almost filled with water. I have added a tablespoon of common salt NaCl to it to make the water more optically denser. I have a red laser light which is going to be the source of my light over here. Now you know that when I switch on the laser light from here, the ray of light will be coming from the laser into the air and from air it will touch the interface of water and air and then it will go inside the water. And now we know that when light travels from one medium to another, it bends from its original path which is known as refraction. So in this process, the speed of light also changes while passing from one medium to another. So let me show you, this is the ray of light, this is the incident ray, this is the normal, this is the expected path and you can see very clearly that the refracted ray is bending towards the normal. The bending is happening, which is the proof for refraction. Now, in refraction, the speed of light changes. So, here 
since the ray of light was traveling from air into the water, its speed will decrease as it is going from rarer medium to the denser medium. To observe the total internal reflection, I am going to shine the light from this end and the total internal reflection only takes place when the ray of light travels from denser medium to the rarer medium and second condition is if its angle of incidence is more than the critical angle then the light would be staying inside the same medium. Here I am going to shine the laser light from here and you can check by yourself that the light ray does not escape out of the water. Now this incident ray does not escape out of the surface of water and stays in the same medium because the angle of incidence is more than the critical angle. Here the surface behaves just like a plane mirror and does not allow light to escape out of the medium. See the spot on the black background which indicates that the ray of light does not escape out of the top surface into air. My dear students, now we are going to learn refraction of light through a glass lamp. I am going to demonstrate refraction of light through a glass lamp. For this activity, we will take a black paper as a background for laser beam. We have placed four small tablets on the black paper which serves as a platform for the glass lamp. This will give a better clarity for the laser beam. For the activity, I am taking a powerful green laser torch. Now switch it on. We can observe the laser beam travel in a straight line in air medium. But when it passing through a glass slab, it bends. This bending of laser beam or visible light when it travels from one transparent medium to the another is known as refraction of light. Let's discuss refraction with normal incidence of laser beam. Here the laser beam is falling normally on the glass slab. That means angle of incidence is 0 degree. So here light travels straight in glass slab without any bending or refraction. Now change the direction of laser beam and increase the angle of incidence. You will observe a slight bending of laser beam towards the normal in the glass slab. Increase the angle of incidence further and you can see the amount of bending of laser beam also increases. Observe the refraction of laser beam through a different angle for better clarity. Here you can see in air medium the laser goes straight but when it enters the glass medium bending take place. My dear students, so that's it for refraction of light through glass lab. Hope uh, you enjoyed the demonstration. Hope uh, you enjoyed the demonstration and uh, I hope uh, you learned these two phenomena. So uh, that's for uh, today's uh, lesson. Thanks for watching. This is Girish, your science activity teacher, signing off. Stay safe and take care. Learn and have fun. Bye.